Thank you for watching our video. Today we're going to go through a brief overview of the um, anatomy and function of the Bell 407 rotor hub. Here we see a basic diagram of the motions the rotor hub allows each blade. Uh, the feathering hinge allows each individual blade to twist as it rotates, while the lead lag hinge allows each blade to speed up and slow down independent, independently of other blades. And finally, the flapping hinge allows each blade to rise and fall as it rotates around the hub. These motions help reduce the forces transmitted to both the blades and the body of the helicopter. Here is a picture of the upper and lower swash plate. The lower swash plate is used to take the input of the pilot um, to change the orientation of the upper swash plate, allowing for a change in the pitch of the blades. The upper swash plate is used to rotate um, with the pitch links allowing the blades to constantly change pitch. Here are the pitch horns and pitch links. The pitch horns are used to connect the pitch links to the blades and the pitch links are used to transmit the input from the swash plate to the blades. Instead of using traditional hinges, the Bell 407 uses elastomeric bearings. An elastic meric bearing is simply a layering of thin metal shims that are coated in elastic polymers similar to rubber. Um, these bearings act like hinges when forces are applied to them by allowing the rubber coating to deform around the metal shims. Um, Bell uses these because they are cheaper and easier to maintain than a traditional hinge. The elastomeric feathering hinge allows the blades to feather up and down. The lead lag damper hinge dampens the advancing and retreating of the blades. Here is a close-up view of the elastomeric bearing that serves as the feathering hinge. In this case, the bearing is cylindrical in shape. If you look closely, you can see the layers of black rubber separated by thin metal. An elastomeric bearing is also used for the flapping hinge. Again, the bearing is cylindrical in shape, with visible layers of rubber and metal. These are the coning angle and droop stoppers. They prevent the blades from drooping too low or coning too high. As there is currently no lifting force on the blades, the assembly rests on the droop stopper. Without it, the blade would touch the ground at the tip. This is the end of our brief overview of the Bell 407 rotor hub. Thank you for watching.